The mad scientist, or my dad, Mark Jury, is at it again in this throwback showdown hunt. Dad takes to the edge of the food plot from a man-made hay bale blind as he sets his sights on a hungry whitetail. Let's hightail it to the food source and see if dad can send this buck to its maker. I'm Taylor Land, and this is a Throwback Thursday edition of DoD TV. This segment of DoD TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. And you talk about an ideal setting. Beautiful alfalfa field out here in the middle of this river block timber. We're down here with Dan Thurston, Lazy D Outfitters. And I'm set up in a little ground blind we put up in these bales right here. And we're watching this alfalfa field on a northeast wind. Daytime high today was about 65. So we had a nice cool front come through. The moon's on the rise. All the uh, conditions that we like to see in an afternoon hunt are present. So hopefully we'll have, you know, some decent bucks come out in the field. We're sure hoping anyway. I'll repeat those key elements. If you can order the perfect day, it would be a cool front ushering in a huge trough of high pressure, afternoon moon on an early rise, and then camping out over a lush green alfalfa field. The conditions cannot get any more favorable. There should be plenty of movement. Oh, right over here, coming out of this corner. Deer's got a big body. There he put his head up. Ooh, that's a nice deer. Let's see how far he is. About 100 yards, 105 yards. Let's see if he comes this way a little bit. Let's see if he comes a little closer. Mark has recently been working with Bob Parker, testing his Hydrocon bullet. This rapid expanding hollow point is filled with fluid. It has a ram on top that causes expansion and therefore transfers all of the energy into the animal upon impact. He's sure anxious to try it out. Lean over to this bale. I'm gonna try him right there. Bad. Good, but the smoke went, and, but it felt good. Man, it's a nice deer. Good looking deer. Whew. Rising moon, you can't beat it. Cold front, Whew. fantastic. I stopped shy of going into the woods earlier. There's tracks right here. Look there. There's blood with it because I wasn't finding blood at the impact, which is common, but there's good blood here. He went off the embankment here. Look, right up here, there he lays in the creek. He tried to get across the creek and didn't make it. And now I'm glad I waited. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> That's the way to start the season. Fantastic, look at that. Oh man, nice, nice body. Come down, he's got water all over him, got down to the creek, and that was it. Woo! Fantastic start. Well, we finally got him pulled up out of the creek, back up here in this beautiful lush alfalfa field. We're down here in Southeast Kansas with uh, Dan Thurston of Lazy D Ranch. And you know, Dan was telling me how pretty this alfalfa field was, but you really just can't believe it till you see it. 
And the reason we came today, Terry and I drove about six hours to get here for this afternoon's hunt. I can still see the moon up clearly right now and it was on the rise all afternoon and that's what we key in on. We actually plan our out of state trips around that rising moon. And uh, last week we were here and there was some low pressure in the area. It was rainy, cloudy, and the moon wasn't rising. And we said, you know, we're probably wasting our time. Let's go back, get some stuff ready for when the rut hits in Illinois and Iowa, and we'll come back. It's the early season muzzleloader. Sure enough, the low pressure got out of here. The temperature dropped. Daytime high was about 60 today, and it's even cooler than that right now. You add all that up with a rising moon and a lush green field, and sure enough, look what walked out. We had does out earlier. And then sure enough, this guy came out, big body on the deer. His belly was uh, swaying a little bit and he had a nice mature looking face. In my opinion, I think he's a three year old and uh, there was no question about it. He was uh, a deer that I like to try and harvest and luckily uh, got the deer, went down the creek, but that's all right. It was worth the, worth the pull to get him out. Just a beautiful start to the season. Every hunt starts with a game plan like knowing when and where to strike. So get deer cast and get ahead of your game. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by Mossy Oak.